You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Thanks for being here with us. Today I have with me a newer face to Greater Brockton. I have Judith Kaz Kazimir, who I will call Judy. Judy, nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Mark. Thanks for being here. And, uh, Thank you for having thanks us. Thanks for doing the good work that you do with your organization. Thank you so much, uh, Mark. Thank you for having me here. I'm grateful for that. Well, first of all, let's talk about the organization a little bit, and then we'll talk about the great event you have coming up in, in mid-February. Okay. Uh, your organization, I like the title, Inspiration for Tomorrow. Got to have the incorporated part. Yes. Because you're a nonprofit. What yes. is Inspiration for Tomorrow? Inspiration for Tomorrow, Inc. is a nonprofit organization. It was founded in 2010. Our mission is to transform society's response towards domestic violence and sexual assault and to promote safety, encourage individuals to learn the importance of recognizing signs of, of abuse and to speak up about abuse. Well, that's something that's <coughs> greatly needed. Um, I know we've read, unfortunately, in the headlines in Brockton, far too many domestic violence. Um, yes you know, issues. Um, I know it's one of the most unsafe things for a police officer to find yes. himself or herself in the middle of, unfortunately, a family crisis of some yes. kind. So there aren't enough organizations. No, there, there isn't aren't. enough time in a day. And you're one of the newer people I've met that are doing this. I think it's great that this, this, this available to help people. Thank you. Now, what you're trying to do coming up is um, to, to let teens in on it, to, 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 to make teens aware of it. If you think about it, yes. kids, infants, toddlers, young <laughs> kids, and teenagers, this affects them greatly. Yes, Okay. it does. I'll never forget, I once saw a public service announcement that was done for the Ad Council on domestic violence. And it had a little kid sitting on a stair, stairway, and he heard the slap of the father to the mother. Oh, wow. I'll never forget that. I, I actually used it as an example in my television production class at Massasoit. Um, and I saw the look on the kid's face. Wow. Teenagers are to me, even more sensitive. Little kids are sensitive, but teenagers are really yes, they sensitive are. and they're impressionable and they might try to make a stance and defend a parent mm -hmm. against another parent or get in harm's way themselves. So is this event to create awareness for teens? Yes, it is. It's, um, because February is um, Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month and so we're trying to um, Teach them, educate them on healthy and un, unhealthy relationship. Um, we're trying to, uh, because some parents actually don't have all the answers to give to the, you know, to the teens about um, domestic violence, sexual assault. Um, we're trying to, um, we're basically, you know, giving them all the um, information that they need, phone numbers that they need to call if, in case they have um, any um, occurrence with um, violence in, in relationships. Mm -hmm. um, we're also um, going to have um, guest speakers that will talk about um, violence, that will talk about their, their own experiences as teenagers. Um, we will have um, people that will do poems and sing. Um, and also, we will have a, a contest um, that day to just to um, encourage the teenagers to 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 to, um, to 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 join in, to come, just to encourage them to come to to participate in this event because this event is very beneficial um, to all of them. So you're asking people to wear orange for love. Yes, I see that on the flyer. Yes. And you have a motivator. You have somebody who's a fairly young person himself, yes. Eugene Bradley Duranford, yes. who's yes. our newest city councilor. He at will large. be our special guest. He's your special guest, and he's a good speaker. And yes, he's he is. Someone who's very sympathetic and empathetic to all causes. I know he cherishes family. Yes, um, he, he does. He lost his mother yes. at a fairly young age. He was a victim of the um, earthquake, earthquake in yes. Haiti, and. Um, I also know from what I've heard from different people talking about domestic violence, 
there's kind of a, a certain um, culture of silence where people can't speak out. They're, they, 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 yes. It might be we were at the event at, at the Brockton Public Library the other day, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes different cultures, that's not reported, it's not talked about, it doesn't happen, but it really does, and it's different It, it does country. happen. Yes, it does happen. Well, especially in our culture, um, I'm Haitian, and um, in the Haitian culture, I can speak for them. Um, the other cultures, I can't really speak much um, for them, but the Haitian culture, we like to keep quiet. Um, we don't like to speak up about the violence. It happens, and we seem to think that it's okay um, when it's not okay. Right. So that's, this is why we're um, educating um, parents. We are ed educating teenagers. We're educating women, men, to um, speak up, to learn about the type of abuse, to learn about the signs. Um, to know there are resources out there, to know where to get help, and we're here to help them. We're here because we provide services such as um, referring um, anyone to the shelter if they're in a domestic violence um, <clears throat> um, situation. We will um, accompany them to the court. Uh, we will accompany them to the authorities to speak up and, and, um, <clears throat> and report report it to the court, I mean to the authorities. We will, um, <clears throat> I'm, excuse me, I have a cold. Um, we will um, we, uh, assist them with um, food um, referrals to the food pantry. So they're not alone. They <coughs> so they're not alone. To help them and advocate for them and refer them to the right Correct. people. Correct. Um, is, is, is your group a small nonprofit? Yes, we are a small, small nonprofit. Um, we have a few um, volunteers. We also have support group that we do every Saturdays. Um, right here on Main Street, we have a um, support group. Um, we're, we're on Main Street? Um, 156 Main Street. 156, which is the, it's over near City Hall? If I... near, the, near the courthouse. Near the courthouse, yes. makes sense. Um, so let's just recap the event because they gave me the, 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 the cue for the time. Um, it's Saturday, February 17th. Uh, it's 1 to 4 at the Brockton Public Library, 304 Main Street. And uh, for more information, there's an RSVP on here, a phone number, which is... 508-474-9804. Do you have a website which has in info for people, resources for people? Yes. Um, the website is www.iftinc.org. Yeah. If anyone cannot come... They can make it to the event. They always welcome to make a donation um, for the event, um, and to, you know to help us um, with the work that we do. And then the support group you says it's every week. Every every Saturday from five, five to six. Five to six. Okay. Well, we wish you luck. Thank um, you. We want people to go. If they can't go, I'm hoping we can arrange to come yes. there and record some of it so we can do more and follow up. Yes, thank you, okay? Mark. Thank you. I hope you feel better, and thanks for being here. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.